Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 26th, 2018. So my goodness, we had an ugly, ugly Christmas Eve with the worst actual, uh, the worst Christmas Eve sell-off in market history. And uh, as you can see, we, we just continue to slice through um, levels of support uh, that are in the chart just like they aren't even there and you can see this next level of support is actually a little bit lower but this morning we are showing a bit of a market bounce in the futures assuming they can hold that now keep in mind we're right now looking at the Dow gapping up about 190 points let's keep in mind that during the night we were actually negative in the Dow futures so don't be too surprised if the Dow futures gap up this morning and we experience that potential reversal that could test the overnight lows so we are critically oversold here um, and we would certainly be um, in a normal market anticipating a bounce but as we continue to move along here with all this political uncertainty just know that anything is possible um, because it's only going to take one tweet um, one uh, news story to completely reverse this market so I really want to caution everyone as, as great as it is to see the market catching a little bit of relief this morning let's keep in mind that that could quickly reverse on us and as a matter of fact we were just up 190 points now we're up 170 points um, that's how quickly this market is moving within minutes we're leaping um, considerable distance here in the market so watch it carefully um, there really is when, when we talk about an edge in the market at least for me um, I, I don't tend to do much day trading I can tell you that I will day trade from time to time um, but right now this is a day traders market and you have to be in a very experienced and adept day trader to um, make much out of this if you're trying to swing trade, um, if you're trying to uh, position trade um, right now, it's it's just plain wild speculation. Um, you're you're betting on hopes and prayers that we do bounce or or those kind of things. Speculating right now, there's no price evidence of a good. Um, entry point for any long positions and right now it's really dangerous to, to short as you can see with this market gap up this morning because we are in such an oversold condition so we need to prepare and continue to expect the market to be extremely volatile while this uncertainty about government shutdown continues the president seems to be digging in his heels on this point and the Senate refuses to consider the house version of the bill which funds the border wall um, at least to an acceptable level i guess for the president so right now just tons and tons of political turmoil the government continues uh, to stay shut down and as congress returns and resumes this debate um, we can expect news reports and that washington spin to really keep the market uh, price action uh, very sensitive to any any report anything that comes out we could expect the market to just reverse on about half a heartbeat in news let's hope some cooler heads finally prevail and this thing starts to settle out now keep in mind we still have the ability we could easily test uh, this level that I have marked here um, we could easily test this level down in here don't be surprised if that doesn't occur sometime throughout the day if we do rally please keep in mind we have price levels right in here in the diamonds that could serve as resistance and we just have so much resistance above it is absolutely amazing how much damage technical damage has been done uh, to this market if we take a look at a weekly chart you can see we're headed toward that weekly 200 here on the diamonds and except for some support levels right in here on this weekly chart um, that brings us very very close to that 200 day moving average and that certainly 
um, seems to be a possibility um, at the current time. So uh, keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quickly. SPY, just a dismal looking chart here. Slicing through levels of support, just continuing to drop. Once again, we have a level of support right down here that we could certainly and very easily test, even though we're showing a gap up this morning. And then keep in mind, we have levels of resistance in here that the market is going to have to deal with on any rally back up, including uh, this downtrend. Okay, so watch those things closely as we move forward. If we take a look um, once again at our moving averages here, you can see the SPY has ab absolutely tagged and even failed the uh, weekly 200-day moving average, which you know would you, one would think that we should be bouncing off of this and catch that relief rally. But remember, the markets can stay irrational much longer than you can stay liquid, particularly with so much political uncertainty out there uh, spinning the market around. Let's take a look at the cues real quick. Cues, um, dropping through this level of support on uh, Monday, dropping through here substantially and continuing selling um, right into the close. And you can see the next level of support um, on the chart is right down here now if we take a look at uh, moving averages you can see we, sh we still have a significant move to um, achieve that 200 day moving average hopefully we don't go all the way down there there is this weekly support in here but it is lower that we'll have to keep an eye on let's take a look at IWM IWM my goodness this thing um, just really really sick um, I'm actually going to have to go to a weekly chart and you can see in the weekly chart this is the next level of potential support here for the for the Russell um, having broken through this um, on Monday breaking down breaking right down into this level of support now this gap up this morning moving us a little bit higher but keep in mind, we just have tons and tons of effort and work that has to be done to start lifting back up through these levels. Um, some massive damage done here in the chart. And once again, that weekly T line um, or moving average chart, as you can see, um, slicing right through that 200 day weekly moving average and just uh, selling into the close on Monday. So. Even though we're catching this bounce uh, today, what we should consider on this chart is the possibility that we rally back to that 200-day moving average, and we would have to watch for that potential of a failure here, just continuing that weekly downtrend. So ugly, ugly charts uh, to be certain. Let's take a look at the VIX really quickly. And the VIX would indicate that we're reaching that, that point that panic point where we could start to see that market reversal but please keep in mind it's only going to take a single news report a, uh, an ill-placed tweet something like that that spirals this panic out of control and we could easily spike up here into the 40 and 50 handle range here on the VIX. As you can see, we've done that in the past. So it wouldn't be um, out of the question if that were to occur. What, of course, I want to see um, happen is we start showing some signs of weakness here in the VIX and some of that fear coming out if the market begins to rally. But I, I really can't see that really calming down a lot until we start resolving some of these issues uh, politically. So, um, Keep that in mind. Uh, remember, volatility is going to remain high. So you need to plan your trade, trading based on that. And it truly is really only suitable for very experienced uh, day traders right now. Swing traders, position traders have little to no edge except for just a flat out speculation gamble that uh, on these trades because the whip is just too strong. Um, let's take a look at T21. 22. Now, T21 and 22 have for some time has been indicating how oversold we are and that a bounce should occur. Remember, if the bounce gets too extreme, like we've like we've seen here in the past, these big one day 
bounces, we tend to pull right back. So this morning, um, now we're up almost 200 points in the Dow futures. So a, a bounce in here, we definitely want to see, but I don't want to that to see that get too carried away i want to see a little more logic brought into that particularly uh, too big of a bounce when nothing has changed yet in this uncertainty there's uh, what's what are we bouncing on other than just this extreme oversold condition and um any news could swing it the other way so kind of keep that in mind and again remember um, futures ha uh, uh, the futures low last night could easily be tested uh, sometime during the day. So don't be surprised to see a complete whipsaw of uh, today's gap up if it's not supported by a real buyer stepping in to pick up the market. So um, kind of keep that in mind. We need to see that follow through today, making sure that those buyers pick it up. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's um, let me. Um, go to a chart here just really quickly and what we want to see is even maybe even go to just a short term like a 15 minute or an intraday chart we want to see this gap up open get supported by buyers and that means that we gap up into this open we want to see buyers actually pushing that on higher on that intraday basis if we get that gap up and we get a pullback that pullback we have to wait for and then wait to see if buyers are actually going to hold on to that gap supporting that gap and pushing the market higher that would be an opportunity for an intraday type move but until that occurs remember full-on reversals full-on whipsaws are definitely possible and we've seen a lot of those lately gap up in the morning move up and completely reverse move up completely reverse um, gap up in the morning completely reverse in the morning completely reverse so we've seen a lot of those lately don't expect that anything could be different here today um, let's take a look at that economic calendar today on the calendar um, this Wednesday, we have the S&P CoreLogic uh, case shiller. Um, wouldn't expect that to move the market around uh, much, and that's at 9 a.m. Eastern today. Uh, Richmond Fed, same thing. Um, State Street Investor Confidence, um, probably no chance any of those will move things around. A couple bond auctions today to be thinking about. Bigger news day is certainly tomorrow. Then on the earnings calendar, uh, we have about 16 companies reporting earnings today. Um, none of them are really particularly notable. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you happen to be holding one of those companies, that would be very important. Um, this morning, guys, I'm not going to give any um, particular trade ideas for trading. There are some things out there that you can look for if you're um, looking for for just a little bit of safety in your trading um take a look um you know for those safety areas like gold um abx showing a nice little pattern here possibly if it can move up and break through this resistance um some of these gold stocks are looking pretty good M -E -M -N -E -M, um has been a really nice looking chart um, moving up nicely in this trend it's approaching some resistance levels you'll want to watch that but other than that there's not a whole lot to really hang your hat on um, even um, even some of the bond um, funds have have shown a s substantial pullback here and in that pullback you, you know we could actually find some buying uh, going on so in this pullback you might want to watch for some buy signals here if you're looking to um, maybe trade um, in some of the bond funds um, ABGO, I've been keeping an eye on, and I was really hoping that this would find some price support um, right in this area, but the extreme selling that has come in the market, we broke this right back down. And what I was looking at, as you can see, is this long-term downtrend that we were testing, and I was really hoping that this upward movement here would pop us through. Now, if the market starts to recover, that is still possible, but this has just been... Um, just an ugly selling and it's across the board everywhere the breath has been awful so uh, keep that in mind um, if you just do decide to trade be very very careful uh, 
I, I just really don't think at the moment, uh, for me anyway, and I've been doing this for 28 years, it's worth risking my money until I see the market settle a little bit. That's me personally. Do what you have to do. But I can tell you that every single day I get emails from people asking for help because their accounts are just being decimated right now. And um, if they would just go back... Um, a month or two and realize that this was not their market, that when they start seeing those losses, had they stopped trading, they'd have been in a much better position right now. So keep that in mind. A, a, a cash position is a position and it's making a decision that the market is too dangerous to trade and we have to wait for our edge re to return. Protecting your capital is a very big part of being a successful trader. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Remember, between uh, Christmas and New Year's, volumes could be kind of funky and weird. There'll be a lot of traders taking time off straight through the holidays here. So anything is really possible in here. Be very careful if you do consider to trade. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you very soon. Thank you very much. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. And always, always, always feel free to share this video with any friends or family. You guys are the best. Thank you for all your help and support for the YouTube channel. Um, it's just wonderful um, to have having you guys uh, leave those comments and um, drop those notes that helps a lot take care everyone we'll talk to you all very very soon bright and early thursday morning